In 1977, archaeologists in Poland discovered the astonishing remains of what has now been confirmed was a medieval female giant. It is surprising that the remains survived long enough to be confirmed as an anomaly without mysteriously going missing. But measuring only 7 foot 2 inches, it may have been presumed that she was just abnormally large. Examinations of her remains, still in situ, have concluded that she was thrown into her burial site without much care, as if hunted, killed and buried. She has been named Ostrautomsky, and her remains are located on a lake island, half-hour drive from Poznan. The island includes an ancient palace, church and fortifications. The island has been inhabited since the late Stone Age and the ruins are shrouded in legend. One intriguing ancient story tells of an unknown king, who rests together with his knights at the bottom of the lake. While all other burials in the island's cemetery are made with the head facing west, this giant woman was buried facing in the opposite direction. Maybe they believed her kind to be cursed. Many ancient tribes and cultures still retain stories about a long forgotten existence of a race of humans that were much taller and stronger than ordinary men. These giants are described as both brave and barbaric, and legends often mention their cruelty. Plenty of these tales can be found in South America. The Peyot, a tribe from the Nevada region thousands of years ago, had a legend about a race of red-haired giants called the Sea Tika. The ancestors of the Peyot described them as savage and inhospitable cannibals. In the northern Peyot language, Sea Tika literally means two leaders. The legend states that the giants came from a distant land, crossing the ocean on rafts built out of the Tula plant. This legend repeats itself all over the Americas. In the 16th century, Pedro Cesar de Leon recorded an ancient Peruvian tale regarding the origin of the South American giants. According to locals, they also came by sea in rafts of reeds. Some of the men were so tall that from the knee down they were as big as an ordinary man. They tell of the giants waging war on the Peyot and all neighboring tribes, spreading terror and devastation. Finally, the tribes united against their common enemy and decimated them. The last remaining red-haired giants sought shelter inside a large cave. The tribes eventually started a fire at the entrance, suffocating the giants. In 1886, a mining engineer named John T. Reed happened to hear the legend from a group of pets while prospecting near Lovelock, Nevada. The Indians told him that the legend was real and that the cave was located nearby. When he found the cave himself, he was unable to begin digging. News soon spread regarding the discovery of Lovelock Cave. But the attention was profit-driven, a guano deposit was discovered inside, and soon after, in 1911, a company started excavating the precious resource shipping more than 250 tons to a fertilizer company in San Francisco. Any artifacts that may have been discovered were probably neglected and lost. However, many may have been stolen away under the guise of fertilizer prospecting, indeed the company may have all along been a Smithsonian ruse, to steal the artifacts from within the cave. After the surface layer of guano had been mined, and the best amongst the smaller relics stolen, strange objects were officially recorded. An official excavation was performed in 1912 by the University of California and 1924. Reports told of thousands of artifacts being recovered, some of them being truly unusual. After a full excavation, removing the entire guano deposit, mummified remains of several red-haired, ancient giants, were found buried in the cave. Measuring between 8 to 10 feet in height, these mummies have since been referred to as the Lovelock Giants. Another intriguing find was a pair of 15-inch long sandals that showed signs of having been worn. Allegedly, other unusually large items were recovered but have since been locked away in museum warehouses and private collections. Including the Giants, only a few remnants of the amazing discovery remains in public display. A piece of evidence that remains on site until this day is a giant hand print, embedded on a boulder inside Lovelock Cave. Made by a giant hand that was covered in soot. Around the same time as the second Lovelock Cave excavation, another dig revealed amazing finds. According to a 1931 article published in the Nevada Review Minor, two giant skeletons had been found buried in a dry lake bed close to Lovelock, Nevada. The oversized remains measured 8.5 and 10 feet in height, and also, what I feel is the most interesting fact of all, were mummified in a manner similar to the one employed by ancient Egyptians. The common trait between these mummified giant remains, and others recorded in the archives of rare preliminary press articles, discovered as far south as Lake Titicaca, is the presence of red hair. 
While some scientists believe the reddish color is a result of the interaction with the environment in which they were buried, the mummies verify the legends, which describe the sea tiger and their kin as living red-haired giants. With so many remains now missing, it is up to all of us, to collaborate the proof of our mysterious history.